Good afternoon. This is a storm watch update. I'm Chris Thomas. Want you to take a look. We have rain, high winds and snow impacting Northern California today. This is a live look at downtown Sacramento as we speak and up in the Sierra. The snow look at that is coming down hard. This is the Caltrans camera on Interstate 80 at Donner Summit. Almost whiteout wow. conditions. You are urged not to travel if you do not absolutely have to. Chief Meteorologist Monica Woods is tracking the latest conditions. And Chris, we've been just seeing a lot of trucks having to navigate through all of that storm. And the difficult part has yet to come in this year. What we're seeing right now is through the valley. Lines of that heavier rain that we haven't yet really had to deal with hitting us through the afternoon. Now in this year, we've basically seen that snow line at the past level throughout this entire storm. It is starting to edge its way down. You can see along I-80 and Highway 50 starting to move towards Pollock Pines as well as towards Arnold. So those places are in for some snow tonight and that snow line going even lower as this low pressure system drives in that cold air, which is going to change things up. Temperatures currently right around 50 in the valley, 40s for the foothills and 30s for the Sierra at lake level. We're going to see again much colder air working in behind what we're seeing currently. Winds are starting to die down right now for Sacramento, but we are in the thick of it for Stockton, Modesto, Jackson, Placerville and Auburn. As those winds continue to move their way east, we still have that wind advisory in place. Keep in mind through tonight as far as our winds uh, gusts right now, close to about 40 to almost 45 miles per hour in some places, including the foothills and the valley. But those peak wind gusts, 52 miles per hour for Stockton, earlier today. Again, our wind advisory is in place through tonight and that winter storm warning also in place through tomorrow evening. So Chris, I'm going to have more on the tracking coming up in our next broadcast in just 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Sounds good, Monica. Thank you. Keep in mind, SMUD has been busy all day working to restore power across the Sacramento area. Right now, more than 1400 customers are still without power, and that is mostly in the Arden and Carmichael community. Listen to this. Caltrans plans to close I-80 for two hours in both directions. That is so PG&E can rehang essential power lines across Interstate 80 at Cisco Grove. Now that starts at 430 and impacts westbound traffic at Truckee and eastbound traffic at Nyack and up to Cisco Grove. Now you can get the latest weather information sent straight to your phone by downloading the ABC 10 app. It has an interactive radar with traffic updates and it is free on Google Play and the Apple Store.